Spoilers in 3, 2, 1. Breaking down Abigail and Uncle's graves. Combo so I can get the other graves faster, but Abigail's grave is cleaner than the other two due to her passing away in like 1914. It has the usual stuff on it, Abigail Marston, 1877 to 1914, and an epitaph that says, always in our heart. Speaking of Uncle, his grave is just as filthy as John's and sports even less info. Uncle died in 1911 and impossible to forget. Yes, this sack of bones really is impossible to forget. I'm gonna estimate Uncle's age to be around 60 by 1911, meaning Uncle's life was 1850 to 1911. Pretty good for a victim of terminal lumbago. This is something I forgot to mention earlier, but the strange man compliments this spot as a nice place, and then John shoots him three times. Three shots, three deaths, and all of them buried here. It's these little detailed mysteries that made Red Dead 1 amazing, but before I do anything else, I gotta warn about.